Hey everybody, we're fixing to make some soap. I'm going to show you a new trick. And I know that the soap police are going to be after me like nobody's business over this. <laughs> but I have tested it and tested it and tested it and tested it. Now it has its flaws and I discussed them in the video. But it makes soaping so much easier. So, I think you will love it. But if you're a novice soaper, you might not want to try. Because, as I said, it does, you know, if you don't get it blended right, it don't work. So, um, and doing all of that normal blending uh, that you would do uh, normally would make sure that your soap was properly blended. So, but we are going to make this soap right here. We're going to do the Five Thieves Plus soap. And um, with this one, we're using activated charcoal with a salt swirl. And I had one of my clips when I was putting it in the mold that didn't process. I'm starting to have some problems with my camera. I've got to get another one. Yep, and you can just send this one to me so I can take <laughs> pictures of Henry and Wesker. There you go. <laughs> so I was doing this one at the same time. And so I, sh and, and it has the same, um, I use the same technique. So I'm showing you molding this one and how I did it at towards the end. And then we cut it and all that. And we're going to cut both of them at the end of this video. So <clears throat> I'm doing the five thieves. I'm showing a new trick that I hope you're going to love. And nobody send the soap police after me. <laughs> I wore my gloves and everything. And um, I wore my gloves. I didn't use the microwave. No preservative was added to the making of this video. And no animals were tortured or harmed in the making of this video. So maybe the soap police won't get after me. But in any case... This is my the two soaps that we're fixing to make. So, let's get soaping. Okay, everybody. This is a new trick, okay? And um, I've been doing it now for several months. And I have been happy. So, we'll have to see what you think of it. I think I'm going to get a lot of flack over this. Okay, <clears throat> the first step is to heat your oils and then let them cool till you can literally put your hand in them. And I normally don't do that, of course. <laughs> and I'm getting all the oil off my hand because <laughs> I stuck my hand in too far to the point that you can put your hand in it. And it does not feel, it feels tempted. It feels tempted. Not warm, but tempted. Okay? Alright, now let me get my glove back on. I accidentally slung my glove across the room. I do not know how I did it, but I found it over there. Anyway, so it must have went flying when I wasn't looking. The next thing is your lye water has to be completely room temperature. And I read... Whisk it. Before adding. And I have a little um, a little plate to set that on to keep lye water from getting sprayed around everywhere. Okay. <clears throat> and then. Now this is the trick too. Hang on, I gotta throw that in the sink. Yeah, I really did throw that in the sink. And when you're mixing lye and water, you see that little hole right there on the side of your thing? If you get that above level, it's going to shoot lye out at you. I 
I know, I'm coming to the trick. Hang on. Now, see how I'm doing this extra rocking motion with the stick blender down in the crock so it won't spew lye, lye and oil on me. I'm going around the edges. I'm coming up to the top a little. And I won't recommend this for the novice or new soaper. Now you saw how much time I spent mixing that. Put it on low and don't touch it no more. You do not have to bring it to trace. I do not know why. I just know that I do so much soap. See all these crock pots? Oh, there's my molds from yesterday laying up on them. See all these? Well, you try to find ways to be economical with your time. So what I do now is, is I come in and I put all my oils in, my stearic acid, all that stuff, and I turn on the crock pots on high. And I come in and, I, and, I, and then I mix my lye water. And I set it where nobody can come in contact with it. Nobody. Uh, I make sure that there is no way the children can get into this room. And then I leave it. And I come back and I stir the oils. And as soon as they're melted, I turn them all off. And I let them sit until the the oil is tempered. And see, I can be doing other things during this time. I can be preparing other things. I can be cooking. I can be um, doing all kinds of things. And it will not, it does not boil over on me, even though I use steric acid. I still have to cut it up, and I'll show you that. But I do not have to bring it to trace, and it makes just as awesome as soap. Now, I'll show you. I've been doing this for two months. I did that with this soap. And the this soap is just as good as all the other soap I make. It doesn't cause me any issue. Um, um, I have been doing it for two months with complete success. I just decided I do that. My brain just up and, up and takes a notion it's going to try something. And boom, I do it. And I don't know why I just come up with these notions of what might be suitable to try. And so I test it. And I've tested it and tested it and tested it every week now for eight weeks or more. And I have had no complications. So I don't recommend this for a novice soaper because if you do not mix all the oils and lye water up well together, this will not work. You will not, uh, you must mix thoroughly. But that's it. Uh, you don't have to do anything else. But I'm going to continue to let you watch this soap be made so that you can see for yourself and judge for yourself. Okay, <clears throat> if you are using uh, steric acid, the top layer of your soap sort of becomes a cork. And the first time I realized this was when, um, see how it's letting out on the side, the steam is and boiling up? And what happens is it gels and becomes quite thick. And um, if you're using steric acid. And if it can't release around the edges, the cork will blow off and your pot will boil over. And so I do the tic-tac-toe method. I just, um, and then I dig a hole in the center. And that way my soap can breathe. And you see how it's already cut down on where the steam was coming up and, and the soap was rising way high up here. And now that's flattened back down. Um, that's how you do it to keep your soap from, um, from overflowing from if you use steric acid. Okay, so um, as you can see, the soap is beginning to come out of gel.
which is this, and go back into soap. And when that happens, after it's, you know, you can see the soap flopping around all the sides, and I know it's really starting to separate, I go ahead and stir it. If you're not using stearic acid, leave it alone for an hour unless you have to stir it. Okay, and I'll probably stir that one more time after it gets more, the gel is more turned back into soap. Okay, um, I have stirred it one more time, and as you can see, it has made perfect looking soap, no issues, everything looks good, and um, we're going to keep cooking it. And I'll bring you back when I'm ready to put the super fats in. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to measure the super fats for our soap. And uh, <clears throat> I do um, uh, two and a half ounces per batch on my soap. And um, the client is, that I was uh, making this for is allergic to um, um, coconut oil. So I'm going to use, I when I got over just a touch. Uh, so I'm going to use castor oil <clears throat> in replacer. I read about it. And it has some awesome skin benefits. And so if you were doing a single batch, you would use 0.5 of coconut oil or castor oil. Uh, I'm going to add uh, an, uh, an ounce. No, I'm going to add two ounces. No, an ounce of, um, there we go. No, I think two, an, an ounce and a half. There we go. I think I need a few more drops. That one got away. There we go. An ounce and a half of cocoa butter. That cocoa butter is expensive. It's unrefined organic cocoa butter. Oh, that's my, my other stuff. This is what I need. This is Essential Depot Shea Butter. Unrefined organic. I've got the bag all messed up. And see, two and a half, and I got to get five. So I need another two and a half. There we go. So that's what I'm going to use, and it's two and a half ounces for a single batch and five ounces of super fats for a double. And I was actually low on olive oil, and I had already fixed the super fats for this soap when I found out the client was um, allergic to coconut oil. And so I was afraid to pour the coconut oil out of the, I mean, the olive oil out of here because I was afraid it had mixed with the coconut oil and they're allergic to coconut oil, so I wouldn't chance it. So normally I would have uh, also used some olive oil. Olive oil, shea butter, and coconut oil is what I normally use, but I would have used um, um, olive oil, shea butter, and um, castor oil um, and olive oil. Okay, and now I'm going to put in, I put in a half a teaspoon of vitamin E per batch. So I'm going to put in two of those because this is a double batch. And let me find my tablespoon. Um, I'm going to put in two tablespoons of, oh, and let's see how much that weighs out to. I'm going to put in two tablespoons of glycerin, which is great for your skin. Ooh. You can't weigh it if you put too much. Let 
All right, that is 1.2 ounces. Oh, 1.3. All right. All right, that's our super fats. Uh, we're going to add that to our... Okay, and <clears throat> I can't use this spoon because I'll use that with the other ones, and this person's allergic to coconut oil, so i got to get a separate spoon. Bridget. And uh, so now we're going to put our essential oil, I mean our um, castor and glycerin and vitamin E and shea butter, unrefined organic and coconut oil, um, everything in here, but I have to be really careful about not crossing over with any spoon everything will have to be washed and be very particular with it because they are allergic to coconut oil so we have to make sure that we don't get any coconut oil mixed up from another spoon or utensil it's like cross -contamination. yeah cross contamination And um, I'll have to come back and stir this again. And I'm going to get a separate tray here for putting her spoon on and be sure that I don't, uh, as I said, get cross contamination. So, um, well, I think it's already melted up enough to give it another stir here. And now I'm going to get the colorant ready. And we'll put that in. Okay, the last time I used activated charcoal, I put two cups in the batch. And I have just a little bit here. So I was going to pour that up. But this time, I'm just going to use a, um, a, a half a cup per batch, which is normally what I put in of additives. So there's one, two, that's a, this is a fourth of a cup measure. So three, oh I don't know, I think I'll use three quarters of a cup just to make sure I don't get too much. So we'll do three quarters of a cup today. Alright, let's put it in. Okay, I've got a clean spatula that hasn't been used on any of the other soaps. And put that in my tray here. And then put in our three quarters of black um, activated charcoal. And we're doing the five feed soap today. Look at the look that we got five. We got uh, activated charcoal uh, steam floating up from it now. And you just have to keep stirring, and it just slowly stirs in. I was thinking about putting it in right at the very end, the way I did last time, but I decided no. I think that I'm going to try putting it in like I normally do the last 30 minutes with oats or whatever and see how that does. We've had quite a bit of conversations about that on my soaping page lately and so I thought no. And I thought activated charcoal would be a great um, mix with the Five Thieves oil because activated charcoal as long as you use hot water becomes activated and helps to cleanse the pores of, impur of, of impurities. Um, and so I thought um, this customer has someone who's having surgery and so uh, uh, oftentimes after I've had an anesthetic I will begin to sweat and impurities and things will begin to come out of my body and I've heard of that happening with other people 
It was me too. It did with you too, Bridget? Yeah. After my C-section. So I thought an activated charcoal soap would be perfect for someone who was sick or experiencing some type of um, surgery. But now this soap is also good for if you've been using cleansers, uh, bleach, uh, and you want to make sure that you remove it from your pores and it doesn't get soaked into your body. Um, wash your hands immediately with activated charcoal soap. They say it's really great for the complexion. I know it feels great to wash your body with it. Okay, we'll let that sit for cook for another 30 minutes and then we'll cool it and mold it. Okay, so now we're going to measure our essential oils. And the first one we're going to do is clove bud. Clove bud. And clove bud is one tablespoon. Okay, and this is for the Five Thieves recipe. And uh, lemon is also one tablespoon, and I'm not sure if I've got a tablespoon down in there, so I'm going to open up the second bottle in case I need it. Okay, so... Just in case there was a drop or two that wanted to jump out of that bottle. Okay. And it calls for two and a half of cinnamon. Also known as cinnamon bark. One. Two and a half. And I don't normally use that much cinnamon in something. I believe that cinnamon is a sensitizer. So uh, we could have people with sensitive skin have an issue with us on this recipe. But I'm following the recipe for the Five Thieves Oil. So that's why I'm doing a particular mix. Hello, Henry. Did you come to see Mama? Mm-hmm. See so, yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, All right. Now let me see how many rows. I'm supposed to do two rosemary. That's rosemary. One. Whoop. I got a little bit over, so I'll leave a little bit in the bottom. Two rosemary. I'm going to see if the rest of that will fit in that bottle. Nope. Not always. Not all of it. Had a drop or two left. I'll get it next time. Okay, and then two eucalyptus, Henry. I'll show y'all Henry in just a minute, but we got to measure right now. Do you have teeth, these, Henry? No, no, not yet. See, I'm going to be like my brother and not get teethies until after my birthday. One. <clears throat> yeah. Two. Uh -huh. Are you biting me? Let me see them gums. Make sure you hadn't snuck them in the night. Okay. And now, geranium, I was told, they're using rosemary instead of, originally the Five Thieves was rose essential oil. So I'm going to put one geranium yep. in there too. Because I've been told to use geranium instead of the rose because it's of the rose family. So... I'm putting that in there. And then I'm putting two of the black cumin, which is my own little extra add, because black cumin is an immune system builder, and people use this as a disinfectant, but they also use it when they're sick. So uh, that's my own little uh, addition. So mine will be the seven thieves today. All right, so now we'll put it in the soap. Oh, there's Henry. Oh, there's your Oh, cookie. it's a cracker. <laughs> Are you getting a cracker? Yeah. 
say tomorrow I turn a year old. Oh, Henry's turning a year old tomorrow. And still not a tooth in that mouth. <laughs> he says, I don't know Matt Cracker to death. Mm -hmm. Henry, say hi to YouTube. Can you say hi to YouTube? Give me a smile. Give me that <laughs> smile. Give oh. me that perfect little smile. Say, so got it full of crackers, Mama. Say, so I got it full of crackers. Mm -hmm. Give me like, that smile. Mm -hmm. Give me that smile. He says, I got cracker. I ain't paying attention to you. Oh, what you gonna do with that cracker? Say, so crunch it all up and then eat it. So that's what I did. <laughs> yeah. Is he good? <laughs> okay, say bye to YouTube. Say bye bye. Can you do it? Come on, say bye bye. I know you know how. He said, got cracker. Say bye bye, YouTube. He says bye bye. Do he'll, you he'll say wave. bye bye when you don't have your mouth full of food? He'll he'll wave. He'll but he'll go bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye bye. He says, I got cracker, Mama. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, everybody. I'm having some problems with my camera, and it did not process the last clip. It ate my pine and tea tree clip, too, that time. And I am so sorry that you're not going to get to see what I did. Um, but what I did was is I mixed the essential oils that we measured out, and then I filled the about three-quarters of the way up with soap, and then I sprinkled some salt. Um, <clears throat> I used uh, kosher salt because uh, kosher salt is really good. Um, you know, they, they talk about salt bars being really good for the skin. And, um, and so I thought it would be nice just to have it in the upper layer. And then I took this spoon and I dug down and flipped over. Dug down and flipped over. Dug down and flipped over. And, oops. I did that repeatedly, and in some places it wouldn't like right, and I just kept working with it, and then I sprinkled some salt on the top. I don't know if that will stick or not. I sort of tapped it in a few places to try to get it, you know, to stick down into the, to the soap so it would stick. I don't know if it'll do it or not, but this is our soap. And tomorrow we'll cut it. And I am so sorry you didn't get to see that. But um, uh, it was really cool, too, the way I did it. Uh, I know I'll add a clip on uh, from a, another soap I'm doing. I'll add it after this one and show you how I did the design. Um, even uh, even, And I'm going to be doing a pot swirl with it. So I'll show you a little bit on that one. Okay, Wester, are you going to smell it? You have to get him down there where he's in the camera. <laughs> Was it good? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let me know. My mom smelled it, and I think I like it, too. Hey, everybody. I told you I was going to show you. Oh, Bridget, I need that TEA spoon, that long, skinny spoon. Find it. It may be in the water right there. I told you I was going to tell you or show you. This one? Yeah, the long skinny teaspoon, not teasp or teasp or whatever they call it. Huh? A uh, teaspoon, T E A. You mix, you sweeten your tea oh, with it. I mean, you stir your sweet tea with it. Oh, a little teaspoon. Yeah, it's, I told you it may be in the water. I don't see it in here. No, not in the water. Just run to the kitchen. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Please have your TEA spoon handy. That's the extra long skinny spoon you get. Alright. And I'm filling my mold about three quarters full. Don't you want to watch? With soap. With skirt. Let him down or something. He's being too loud. People can't hear. Y'all are hearing all my caracas that's going on around here. Okay, and then we're going to put the black charcoal and a layer. 
here on the bottom. And that's just a thin layer. And then I'm putting the rest of the soap on top of it. I'm going to run you off, Wesker. People won't be able to hear what I'm doing. Bridget, oh, never mind. I got one. This is my last one, y'all. I've been working er since early this morning. I've done six double, six, six double batches. I bet my audience... Is going, be quiet, Kimberly. We can't hear what Wesker's saying. <laughs> and I'm going, be, care be quiet, Wesker. They, they can't hear what I'm saying. Okay, so, now, this is what we do. We take and we dig up and twirl. Dig up and twirl. Dig up and twirl. Was your spoon dirty? Or is that on purpose? That's on purpose. Did you not see me sprinkle the charcoal on there? Uh-uh. Okay. Oh, one second. Turn that moment, but it's okay. Oh, one it was Wesker. Oh, it, it was Wesker's fault. It was Wesker's fault. Yeah, fault, Mama. <laughs> ah. Thank you for coming to my aid, baby. <laughs> and so now ah. I am... Ah. Now, as you do this, you end up pushing just a little bit too much of your soap over with you. So I do that. Wesker, shh. And then you just keep on doing. Wesker, I'm going to make you leave. Shh. Yes, I will. I'll put you on camera in just a minute. He says, gosh darn that, Mama. Let's go. Yeah. Henry was all quiet while he waited for his turn. Are, are you going to smell it? Smell it. Henry did smell it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. He smelled it earlier. It smells better now, though. Let smell it, too. Mm -hmm. Soaps. Soaps. Yep, soaps. Soaps. Okay. Oh, that spot Can right there shampoo? needs a little bit more blending. Yeah. Now, I'm going to just run my spoon back and forth and uh, also blend my colors on this upper swirl. This is just an upper swirl like what I did with the salt. And then, now I'm going to put the, what you might say, the final touches on it. You want a cracker? Mm -hmm. You gotta go sit down. Four, five, four. Don't make them fall. Gentle. Here, go sit down. Here, go sit down. He was counting your soaps. Was you counting my soaps? He's getting into counting. Uh oh, I lost a little glob. So we counted ten different kinds of soaps on the rack. There's a lot of soaps there. We're going to have to package. Mm-hmm. No more room for new soaps. I know, and we got these six loaves waiting to go, but... All right. And now I'm going to take and do this little oh, thing right oh. here with it. You get so arts and craftsy with your soap. I know. It's so much fun. It's like playing with Play-Doh, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it's wow. like playing with Play-Doh. Very goopy play though. Mmm. What's it called, man? Well, Wesker has decided what kind of goldfish he wants. He wants a red cap oranda. All right, everybody. Can y'all see that? Mm -hmm. That's what I ended up with. Now I'm gonna sit you back up here for a second. Mm. Now this is. 
um, the red clay from Brambleberry. Oh. Bridget, would you get it out of the bag for me? Mm -hmm. I mean, out of the top drawer. Yeah, up there, up there, up there. Wesker, I'm going to make you leave. No. I will. Red Brazilian cray? Yes. Here we go. Okay. And that was the red Brazilian clay. It come out a really nice piece. I know. Color. The red Brazilian clay is my absolute favorite, I think. My you get the most color for my your money. Uh, because my it shh, because it really does give you a lot of color. And I thought the black swirled top would be fun. And um, I didn't put enough activated charcoal my in there. Shit. To be of any benefit to anybody. But I thought it would be fun just the same. And uh, Bridget, close that door so the light's not knocked off. I, and pull that light up a little bit. There we go. You might can see the color just a little bit better. And I know I'm doing the Five Thieves video today. But... Um, I will um, I will um, show you what this one looks like when I cut it too uh, since we since we tack this one on the end so you could see that new method I've been I've been playing with I don't know if I come up with it I just decided to try it but probably lots of people have done it I mean I've seen lots of uh, cold process soapers work with a spoon and uh, when you're doing two different colors, I put a tablespoon of hot water. When I, what I did was I did half of it white and half of it in the purple clay. So I had two small crock pots instead of one big one. And I put a half a tablespoon of hot water in each one of them after I got the essential oils and everything was all done to make it more movable. And then I filled it half full with one color, and then I put the other color on top, and then I dug real deep and brought it up, and just kept bringing it up, bringing it up. And I put the the dark color on the bottom, and the white on the top, and I just kept digging deep and bringing it up, and just over and over and over till I felt like I had enough of the bottom color. All right, Wesker, are you ready to be on camera? Okay, we'll go put Wesker on camera. Okay, uh, you want to smell that one too? Yeah. Okay, yes. smell it. Which smell them and tell me which one you like the best. This. Yes. Smell it. Okay, now smell the next one. This. This one. Now sit it back right here. Don't sit it over there. Sit it back right there. Okay, smell this one. Smell this one. Smell that one. Smell the next oh, one. Oh, I think you like that one. Which one did you like the best? This. Yes. Which one? You like the cedar wood and tea tree the best? Well, it is my best seller. Let me smell. Mmm, you know that's some good soap. Mmm, smell it again. So, is that good stuff? You're a boy. Uh, so that's the best one. Okay. Uh, uh, we never did. We've I've sent this sample out to a few people, and we still hadn't come to our decision on it. On uh, what we think about it. I gotta put this over here. I like that one. I like this. You like that one too? Yeah. That's mommy's favorite. Mm. My favorite that. <laughs> All right. So now say hi to everybody. Soap. Yeah, soap. Soap. Damn, that one's wet. Soap. 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 That mama. That mama's. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all that soap down there, and there's yes. more of it over there, and there's six more, uh, three uh, m double batches down there, and three up there. Mama yes. made today. What are we gonna do with all that soap? Be easy with it. That's still soft. To get tools. Yeah. Be nice to it. Be easy. Tools. Be easy. 
Okay. Alright, can you say bye to you too? <laughs> Which one's you be the best one? Which one's the best one? Yeah, you still mm -hmm. like the cedar wood and tea tree. Okay. Alright, say bye bye. Say bye to you too. <laughs> say bye that one, he says. <laughs> <laughs> All right, say bye to YouTube. Mm. Say bye bye. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he says that's good stuff. All right, I'm gonna have to turn the camera off. Say bye bye. Say bye bye YouTube. And wave. And <laughs> He's enjoying this. <coughs> Here. Say bye bye to YouTube. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Lots, 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 lots. Okay, bye, bye, Wesker. Bye bye. Hey everybody. Now, I am gonna add this clip to two of my videos. I'm doing a video of cutting all the soap I've made over the course of two days, and I'm gonna try to fit it all in one two-hour clip. I'm hoping. And so anyway, so I'm going to attempt to put this clip in both of my videos because I've also made a video on how to make the um, thieves. Five the, thieves. Yeah, I'm, uh, whoopsie, I'm losing some salt. This is the five thieves plus, I think I'm out of camera, the five thieves plus soap. And so um, I was making that one and boom, my camera did not process the molding clip and I used a very similar technique on this one so I want to show you this one and, uh, and that one since I added this to that uh, to that video so you could see how I molded that one <laughs> does that make any sense I don't know I don't know um, so basically you molded them the exact same way yeah and the, I just used uh, black charcoal on this one and I used salt on that one salt is salt is supposed to be really awesome for the skin mm -hmm. and healing and and I'm, that one there is for oh and it'd be nice um, oh what do you call it uh, oh gosh I've lost the word now exfoliate ooh isn't that pretty Oh, that is so pretty. Now, this one here, we haven't decided whether we like it or not yet. And it is high in essential oils. Um, very expensive bar to make. <clears throat> um, it, oh, look, I'm getting black on me. Um, <clears throat> it has thyme, basil, bay. Here, let me know. It has basil, myrtle, thyme, bay. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Just a touch to sweeten it up. It has geranium. Did I put the geranium in it? Or, no, I didn't. I didn't put... I put a little bit... Of, I put... Um, I, this one. Oh. There you go. Okay. Don't look at your paper so you don't mess up. Isn't it that new one there? Yes. Okay. It has rosemary, thyme, myrtle, basil, lemongrass, bay, clary sage, peppermint with a touch of cinnamon and it has two tablespoons of rose clay and then the black uh, charcoal on the top for fun. Total fun. Total fun. And I am in love with the brambleberry rose clay. Um, this is the prettiest color I think I've achieved. Um, where's the, not that one, that one over there, the purple swirl. This is the purple clay and the white non-colored soap in a swirl that I did. And um, <clears throat> I did a special little video on this one. Um, and the purple is not real purpley. Mm -hmm. And I think you'd have to add more, like four tablespoons. Mm -hmm. And this is two tablespoons in a double batch. So this is a tablespoon per batch. And I mean, it's beautiful. But it would be so much more fun if it was more purple. And so, anyway, I need, uh, but it's the purple is so expensive. 
If I could find it, maybe in cheaper. But at Brambleberry, and I guess the purple, you know, it's just harder to find. So uh, it's just more expensive for them to buy, I'm sure. Uh, it's not like they're, you know, cheating us or anything. But you never know, I might find it from another source in a larger size where it would be cheaper. I thought I saw Clay at the health food store at Wildwood. It, not at the, the main store, but down at the vitamin one. There was clay down there. Really? I remember, because I was fussing at you. I said, well, let's get some clay. Let's get some clay. No, no, no. I don't want to mess with that yet. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't know whether it was natural and what was in it, and I hadn't done my research yet. You must research what you put in your soap. Yeah. But so, this was a, a face mask kind of clay. Uh-huh. Yeah. And they had different colors? I don't remember. I remember seeing, like, it was a pretty good-sized bag. Uh-huh. All right, well, but we'll, it was like the tannish. We will about. look at it. And so now let's oh, let me give you. I, mean, a, I could get them to order different colored clays. You never yeah. know. They do do that. Yeah. Now, so this is a test bar, all new, and we haven't decided if we like it yet. But Bridget, oh, and I love the little spoon swirl on the top. Bridget, you smell one, and I'll smell one. It takes, it, it takes a very long smell to, to get all those smells. It makes your nose really work. I like this soap. It has an earthy, green, herbal smell. It's kind of sweet, too. A little flowery. Just a little. Just little. Are you smelling a floral note in just, there? Just I'm little, surprised little. that I'm not smelling more of the lemongrass. The lemongrass is just blending in just and making little. the herbal perfect. It's kind of got a rosish, that light, sweet smell. Of, you know how the rose. Oh, are. I'm getting it now, right yeah. on the back of your nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to get a real long smell on it. Oh, oh, I can't wait to put this in the shower and see what happens then, because then when you put it in a hot, hot shower, you know what it really needs. I think it magnifies it. Yes, yes, it needs more peppermint. But peppermint is so costly, and I have been using it like crazy, and now my oh. bottle is empty, and it's underneath the, the table over there in the empty glass bottles. Oh, I'm in love with it just the way it is. You like it just the way it is? It. I do. I love it. You oh. know, and I'm not a rose fan. I'm not. Well, it don't really smell like it's roses, just, but it has that background earthy smell of a rose. Yeah, very light. You know, I remember as a kid, oh my gosh, every year my mom might not had to buy me uh, a rose... You know, those kits with the soaps and the body washes. Every year it was always rose. Oh, my God. Every year. Now, so I'm just not fond of rose now. Uh-huh. Because it was every year. But it really has. It has a wonderful It has smell. an earth green with a touch, just a touch of floral. It's like but it's, a, it's, it's like a, yeah, like a, a light, 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 light. Not like a flowery, flowery floral, but a light floral on the background. It's high spring. Yeah. When all the flowers have just popped open and so your nose is not used oh, to really? it. Oh really? It makes you sort of think about walking in the woods when the trees are just putting out and you can smell the tree that buds. Too. And oh. the and the dirt in a you know in a like a black dirt woods where the dirt actually you know where you got a lot of moss. Oh yeah, well you got a lot of moss. Uh, oh. we might call this one mossy oak. <laughs> And it does have a very camouflaged appearance. Yeah, it's <laughs> camouflaged. <laughs> I don't think I've ever lost it that bad on camera before. <laughs> I'm never going to get this in two hours, spot. <laughs> because there is there is like a whole bunch of essential oils in it's here. Like what, eight different kinds? Yeah, I mean, and, and I didn't put them in light neither. Um, the only one I put in light was the cinnamon. And the peppermint. The peppermint was only a half a tablespoon. No, I, no, no. That, uh, the cinnamon was only a half a tablespoon. Uh, sure? It was something to put a little spice on in the background. No, cinnamon <coughs> was a whole. Cinnamon was, was one. Half. Was oh, one and a half. half. One and a half. 
And I swear, I think it could have used three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but probably. it is perfect the way it is. But uh, it smells really good. Yeah, it does. It, and but the thing I'm gonna have to see about is the black charcoal was mixed, but it wasn't like dissolved. Dissolved in. It was sprinkled and swirled on the top with a spoon. Um, and that's on the video on the on how to make the five thieves. Uh, if you want to see me do it. Um, so anyway, so. So we're going to have to take a bath with this. We're going to have to test it. See, it's getting black on my hands. After it cures, I think it'll rinse off. No, I mean, I just need to see how it, how it works. It, you know, if we get this big black bunch of foam in our hands that mm -hmm. is not, you know, conducive to happy customers. Well, this right so, here is cured, right? Yeah, but I, that's just like all blended up, you know. It's and it's not really cured. It's only been there a day, so. And not a full 24 hours. So, mm. so anyway, but this soap is beautiful, and um, and I'm hoping that this um, is going to be Bridget. You're in the camera, oh, sorry. and I'm, I, uh, she's still in her gown, y'all. <laughs> it's early morning. We've it, today's Henry's birthday. Plus, we had to finish these two videos and cut all this soap and get it stacked up. And we've got to go get the cake. And, and we got to get the cake and the and presents and chips. be back by six o'clock. So, uh, Bridget was like, "Don't I'm going to just wear my gown and not get in the video. And yeah. that way, she can help me get the soap out of the way. And we can get this done faster. So, we can go shopping for Henry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, I will let you go. Um, and next, I'm going to do the Five Thieves. And um, these two clips will be at the end of that video as well. So if you're seeing that video, I've also got a cut video where I'm cutting up all the soap I've made in the past two days. All right. Bye, everybody. Be back in a sec. Hey, everybody. All right. This is our Five Thieves Plus because I added originally rose essential oil was used. And then people have got to wear, you know, rose is so expensive, they use rosemary or geranium, rose geranium instead. So I put rosemary and rose geranium in this one. And then <clears throat> um, I added black cumin to it because black cumin is an immune system builder. Um, then I also, um, I put the, the activated charcoal in it because activated charcoal pulls impurities from the pores and from the skin. Um, and then I also I added a salt layer to the top. Uh, salt is supposed to be very healing for the skin, and you can do your research on that. I've done some reading on it, and I really had never. Oh, and I was going to see how much salt fell off. Quite a bit, but I think it still, uh, it's still enough enough stayed there's to a uh, sticky layer there to look good. Uh, now I'm going to have to clean that off, though. <laughs> it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 did a, I did the salt, and then I sprinkled some salt on the top, and I sort of tapped it into the soap a little bit. But I can see that I lost most of it. And, oh, I can't put that there. Excuse me, everybody. The sink's beside the camera. Okay. So, anyway, so... Um, but I kept some, and maybe that will hold. I can hope. We'll find out after cutting. Yeah, and, and I'm really, really, really excited. I was wanting to make the Five Thieves soap, and I had, been I had been planning it to maybe do it yesterday. I hadn't set my mind on it completely, but I was pretty much thinking I would do it and add it to my repertoire. And um, then I had a lady message me, and her sister was going to have surgery, and she wanted some Five Thieves soap for her. And she didn't have the um, the essential oils. Oh, look at the salt. Let's, uh, she didn't have the essential oils to do it. But I did send her the recipe so that she could do it next time if she wanted to. Or the recipe that I found. And I searched and every place had the same recipe. But one place gave the tablespoon measurements in uh, ratio. In other words, how much rosemary compared to how much, you know, cinnamon. And the only thing I was a little bit worried about is it was higher in cinnamon than I normally like to use because cinnamon is a sensitizer. Um, and so 
but you know it's I didn't want to mess up the recipe it's so got a nice crunch it did didn't it? it's the salt look at the salt the salt is blended right here and I hope you can see that um, I think that's really pretty I, I didn't know how comfortable salt would feel I've, I've used a salt bar once but just on my hands so I didn't want to just you know do the whole bar in salt I wanted to just do uh, a little salt well, and I also thought that it was decorative as well. The only thing besides white soap I could think of that would do well in the black. So, um, so that's what I did. <clears throat> and I used the kosher salt. And as I said, I'm putting this clip in two videos. One is my cut video. So if you're watching a video of me cutting several bars of soap... Uh, and would like to know how to make this soap. I also did a video on this soap from beginning to end. And uh, I just lost one little clip of when I was actually putting it in the mold. And so I did another soap um, that I was fixing to do with a very similar technique. So I showed you me molding it um, instead. So you've already seen that by now. Unless you're watching the cut video. This is getting very confusing. I'm extremely sorry. So anyway. <laughs> so um, uh, with activated charcoal, they call it activated because you have to activate it. Oh, we haven't smelled this. So let me tell you. You take that one. So anyway. <laughs> this has a wetness to it. It's the salt. It, it'll cure out. But um, that's cool. Yeah. Um, but in any case, with activated charcoal, they call it activated because you have to activate it. So you must take a hot shower or use hot water when you're washing your hands with this soap. Oh, that is heavenly, isn't it? Oh, I like that. How would you explain it? For those who's not smelt the five thieves oils together. I can spell the spice of the cinnamon, but yet without knowing that it's cinnamon, I don't know if I would know that's what it is. Yeah. I can smell nice the morning. rosiness of the rosemary, but yet not like a super rose. Yeah, it's very light. Very light, very yeah, you know how I feel earthy. About, yeah, I know how I feel about roses, and I like this. Well, damn, I think it smells like, uh, smells like um, some kind of antique rose. Yeah. Or, or one of them knockout roses, because the knockout roses don't have as strong of a smell. If y'all don't know what a knockout rose is, you must look it up. That is exactly what it smells like. Um, <coughs> for those of you who hasn't seen the video yet, <coughs> or if this is in the cut video, boy, this is getting more confusing by the minute. <laughs> um, it has clove, lemon, cinnamon, rosemary, eucalyptus, and then I put the black cumin, and I also put geranium in there, and I didn't write it down. Yep, it smells like my pink knockout rose. That's what it smells like. And three-fourths cup of the activated charcoal in a double batch. Um, I was going to put a cup. Last time I made this, I put two cups, and it took too long to cure, and I couldn't, I didn't want to add uh, extra cure days to it because as I said uh, there's a lady that's going to get several bars of this. Uh, this she, is a this is a kind of a blue black whereas that one is like black black you throw it outside you won't find it. Yeah <laughs> if you look at it in the night you ain't finding it when I put two cups <laughs> worth in. Yeah. Um, but I um, like this one. This one is a very attractive color. Yeah but it may cure out blacker. I don't right. know. Right. Right now, now all, all of our soaps sometimes some of them change in mm -hmm. the night. <laughs> So, so like Batman. <laughs> I'm very excited. Oh, and I, I've already told the recipe for this in the uh, <clears throat> in the actual making video, but I'm putting this in the cut video too. Uh, it was one tablespoon clove, one tablespoon lemon, not lemongrass, lemon, two and a half tablespoons cinnamon, and I don't use lemon a lot because lemon is for oily skin. Uh, it's an acidic, <clears throat> and but just one tablespoon is okay. So two and a half tablespoons cinnamon, two tablespoons two tablespoons rosemary, two tablespoons eucalyptus, 
two tablespoons black cumin, one tablespoon geranium, and three-fourths cup of charcoal, uh, of activated charcoal. And that is for a double batch of 70 ounces of oil. So for 30 to 32, I mean 30 to 35 or 36 ounces of oil, that should still be good. Um, Though they might get I wouldn't want to go smaller than 32 ounces because of that cinnamon content. And I would think that you would definitely want to buy a half a tablespoon measurer. You know, the little, like a tablespoon. I've got one that's a half a tablespoon. You can buy them in a set usually. At yeah, you can buy them in a set. Walmart. But not all sets include a half a tablespoon. They'll always include the teaspoons. And, but I bought like three sets. I might always have it. Maybe I'm just lucky. I think you are because I've bought many sets that just had a tablespoon measure. No other division. <laughs> So, well, Walmart does. I know that it does. It's in the yeah. dollar section. They're color coordinated. They're Isn't that simple. gorgeous? I'm very pleased with this soap. It smells awesome. It looks oh. awesome. It looks awesome. And this one should be shower safe. You know, the other one was just too black. We were worried about putting it in the shower. Yeah. But this one, this well, one should Well, you know, be I've, had, safe. I've had comments come back that it makes a black foam, but that it didn't stain their tubs. Ooh. So this one here has three quarters of a cup in a double batch, and the other one had two cups in a single batch. <laughs> that was a very black soap. It was very black soap. So anyway, and I've got a video on doing that, on rebatching we got a piece with right activated here. charcoal. Do oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hand it here. It's for when we're soaping in the in the night, you know, and yeah, and well, we get oils on our hands. And I rebatched, and I didn't I didn't melt all of it so that the little colors. Uh, would show uh, for I was rebatching my scraps, and so that is the difference. Although this one may blacken up a little bit, no, no. But this is two cups for a, for about 40 ounces of oil because it was it was a little bit fuller the crock pot since I was rebatching. Mm -hmm. It was more than just a batch, about 40 ounces. And that was a happy accident too. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. I thought I had all the pieces melted, but they didn't all melt. And, and then out, it come out beautiful. It was delightful. Very delightful. All right. And so I hope that she just loves this and it is a great benefit to her and the recovery and prior to surgery um, that this works awesome for her. And I hope she's very satisfied with it. All right, everybody. Just in case, this is the last clip. And I think it will be. <laughs> Please subscribe. Please hit the like button. Thank you for watching my commercials. Thank you for using my uh, Essential Depot link. When you buy from Essential Depot, that really helps me out. I tell people, uh, people will sometimes say, you know, what can I do for you because you've helped me out so much. And I just ask that you watch my commercials and if you're going to buy from Essential Depot, that you use my link. And how you get to that <clears throat> is you click on my face that's somewhere over here. It takes you to my main page. I also put it in the description, in the description, but some people have a harder time finding the description. So if you click on my face, it'll take you to my main channel page, and on the right is my links. And if you get on another page, if you click on uploads or videos, uh, in the four, usually there's four choices there, uh, like playlist, feeds, and then uploads or videos. Um, that'll take you to my main channel page, and it has the Essential Depot link, my Facebook links. I love to chat with you. I love to help you with making your soap, and so I've, uh, I've opened up a chat page for soaping on Facebook, and we're just all big buddies. There's a lot of new soapers there. There's a lot of old soapers there, and there's a lot of people in between, and we are helping each other, chatting with each other, asking each other questions, uh, showing off our soap pictures, posting our soap videos. Um, I post my video links there, and so um, please come to my Facebook page, send me a friend request, and I'll and add your add request to be added to the page, because I would love to get to know you. All right. Bye, everybody. Oh, and happy birthday to Henry. Oh, and happy birthday, Henry. <laughs> one year old. And by the way, if you're watching the cut video, move over to how to make the five thieves video. And Henry and Wesker, I did a little short clip of both of them in that video. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye.